rise up to tell you my God Almighty just know that the God that we serve he will never let your tire burst out he will never let my God Almighty the wheel come off he will never cause my God Almighty any accident to happen he will never allow my God Almighty hallelujah for you to stop in the middle of the road unless you choose to stop because many while they are going through they tell themselves that they are not going to my God Almighty prolong and because you stop my God Almighty by prolonging the enemy my God Almighty come in and bring all kind of things and want to pack up more on it but I rise up to say my God Almighty when you are going through a journey all you have to do is continue cry out Jesus because he's the one my God Almighty that carried the cross from my God Almighty hallelujah wherever they have my God beaten him all the way to Calvary he carried that cross on his back it was heavy but he decided to carry it for you now that my God Almighty have was to put down the cross for a while and if you notice my God Almighty with your situation your situation my God Almighty it will not be forever it will only be for a while because Jesus Christ already make the journey short for you give him glory That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. I know, my God Almighty, that I don't have a lot of people to get excited this morning. I know I don't have a lot of people to receive this word this morning. But the few that are receiving it, just know that, my God Almighty, by fire, by power, with the fire and the cloud, God is in your midst and you shall overcome. You shall overcome in Jesus' name. You shall overcome. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Rabba Satoria Mama Shende. Rabba Baba Baba Baba. My God, my God. You want to know, my God Almighty, and see. You want to know and see that God is with you. Look and see, my God Almighty, that you're still alive. And said, my God Almighty, the songwriter rise up one day and said, Hallelujah, anyhow. I will never, never let no problem get me down. When temptation come my way, I will lift my hands up and say, Hallelujah any hour. At least you have a hallelujah to hang on to. At least you have a praise to hang on to. At least you have a worship to hang on to. At least you have a prayer to hang on to. At least you have a God to call to. And if you pray, my God Almighty is there to answer. If you cry out, he's there to my God Almighty come in and devour. If you, my God Almighty, hallelujah, purpose in your mind, body, heart, and soul, and said, I will not give up. I will not let down my God. I will not look to the right nor to the left. I'm going to stand strong on the rock of ages, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. Just know that while you're standing, he's in the midst because he's sending my God Almighty a cloud, my God Almighty in the day, and he's going to let you have the fire in the night. And as you have it, my God Almighty, it will protect you and do things right for you and I. Come on, lift him up lift him up. My God Almighty, Ekora Bashanda, mighty powerful God. Excellent is the Lord Jesus Christ, the one, my God Almighty, that will never leave nor forsake. Rebbe Ketoria Bashende, mighty powerful God. He knows everything that my God Almighty's children are feeling. He knows everything that you are going through. But I rise up to say, my God Almighty, He promised never to leave you, never to forsake you. That is the reason why He have angel to back 
ask you to my God Almighty, hallelujah. If you notice, my God Almighty, what his word tells us in Psalms, he said, my God Almighty, he's the God that will teach your hands to war and your fingers to fight. So in the midst of what the journey and the fight that you have to be fighting, just know that he, God, is in the midst because the greatest protection he will put, he will put a cloud, my God. He will even, my God Almighty, have the cloud and the fire wrapped together because what you don't seem to get and understand, it is just a flip over. People of God, listen to this. It is just a flip over with the cloud and the fire. Whenever it's day, you look, you see the cloud, but know that on the top there's a fire blazing. Come on, people. It's just a flip over the day. It's just a my God Almighty, I flip over with the cloud. The cloud, my God, I don't know, I don't know if any one of you know about my God Almighty back home. The, 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 I don't know, it's supposed to, but some of you know about back home when we did not have oven. When we did not have an oven, my God Almighty, what happened when we did not have an oven? We, my God Almighty, get the cold fire. We get the cold fire, my God Almighty, and we put a little fire, my God Almighty, uh, um, on, on in the in the in, in the, the cold pot, and then, my God Almighty, we rest, my God Almighty, something on the top, and we put, my God Almighty, that pot on the top of it. Then, my God Almighty, we get the piece of zinc, and you, my God Almighty, get coal put on the top, or if you have to use wood, and you bake that pudding. Come on, people, you all remember those things, my God Almighty. Now let me tell you something, my God Almighty, those days, when you bake like that, this is the sweetest pudding you taste. Come on, talk to me. I said those days when you bake, it was the sweetest pudding you bake. Because I remember, my God Almighty, whether it's in the city or in the country, we have to use the coal fire or wood fire. And people of God, everyone, my God Almighty, used to have their cake bake. I rise up to say, I want you to see the revelation of what I'm talking. That my God Almighty, this cloud and this fire that God is putting in the midst. My God Almighty, you need to understand. It is my God Almighty like baking the cake because if the cake should my god mighty have sense to said where that eat coming from all the cake would look up and see is just a piece of zinc over it and it would wonder and say but how come the zinc blaze like this my god almighty and in the midst my god almighty of the bottom of the cake my god almighty the very grung if the grung could talk it would say my god almighty i'm feeling fire 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 My God Almighty, if the ground could talk, the ground would say, I'm feeling fire. But you need to understand, my God Almighty, that the fire, my God Almighty, that it is feeling is the same fire. What God is doing with the cloud, my God Almighty, and the fire. He did not move the cloud out the way. He did not move the fire out the way. All what happened is a flip. Come on, people. All happened is a flip. That's what he did, he just flipped over. It's like using the computer and you, 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 you tap from one tab to the other. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me, people. Amen. Yes, yes. Oh, no, just know that the fire never stopped burning. The fire never stopped burning. The fire never stopped burning, my God Almighty. That is the reason why you are still alive. Come on, give him glory. The fire never stopped burning, it never stopped. Rabba Satoria Mama Mashende. It's always burning. My God Almighty, and when the enemy see it, my God Almighty, the enemy have to back off. It never stopped burning. He see everything and he said, I have to protect my children. He said he have to protect his children. His word cannot lie. He said, my God Almighty, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
He did not speak that my God mighty and don't mean it. He did not speak it and don't mean it. All you have to know, my God Almighty, that there is a God, my God Almighty, to protect. There is a God Almighty that is going to take you through your journey. There is a God, my God Almighty, that is going to have you to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And in the midst of everything, you are going to be able to run and touch it. Because he is God all by himself. Thank you, Father. He's God all by himself. Never leave you nor forsake you. That's who he is. He will never leave you nor forsake you, people of God. He knows, my God Almighty, the bandage. He knows the bondage that all his children are in. And because he know it, my God Almighty, I rise up to tell your people of God, he have bands of angels to overpower the bondage that you are going through. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will lead you by a pillar of cloud and fire. Come on, people. I said he will lead you by the pillar of... You see, what some of you don't get an understanding of. Now look at your whole situation that you are going through. In spite of everything. Some of you might even be afraid to sleep at night. But I rise up to say, don't you find yourself sleeping. And in spite of you find yourself sleeping, don't you able to wake up and see that you're still alive? Come on, give him glory. Because he decided, my God Almighty, that he's going to have what the fire and the cloud. You see what you all need to understand, my God Almighty. Even if it is night, there is a cloud. Because you need to understand, do in the night, my God Almighty, what, what causes rain to fall is because the cloud come in and get black and ready to fall that rain. My God Almighty, you will see, my God Almighty, that the cloud is there with the fire and what that is that is a double balance protection come on people a double balance protection that will never leave you nor forsake you never leave you You need to understand, my God Almighty, your journey, my God Almighty, that you're going on. You might, my God Almighty, hallelujah. You might not have enough gas to, my God Almighty, take you through. You might not have enough water. You might not have enough food. You might not have enough of everything. But know that is the more than enough in your, my God Almighty, little enough. Come on, talk to me. He is the more than enough in your liquor. I said, He is the more than enough in your liquor. No, my God Almighty, look, my God Almighty. If we remember, my God Almighty, the story with my God Almighty, um, Elisha, Elisha, my God Almighty, and the my God Almighty, the woman with her son. What happened when Elijah, my, I think it's since my God Almighty, second kings, when the woman, my God Almighty, go, my God Almighty, to the house, and Elijah meet with her. Elijah, my God Almighty, said to her, my, she said, Elijah said, I need something to eat. She said, 
said, she said, Master, I do not, we, we do not have anything to eat. All I have is a little meal into a barrel. He said to her, go and make me a cake, bring it back to me. He look at her, he tell her that you need to trust, trust, believe in this prophet, what this prophet is saying. And the woman, my God Almighty, go in the kitchen. She, my God Almighty, pour out the little corn meal. She throw out whatever and she bake that cake and give to him. By the time he eat it and she get up to take, you can imagine, I know this is how it happened, people of God. I know that my God she and her son sit down looking hungry and were looking at Elijah eating that cake. It wasn't a wicked situation. It was a faith trying situation where he was trying her faith and she sat there and while she sat there she watched him and her son watched him eat that cake and as soon as she finished he eat the cake he drink the water I can imagine how he burp and said thank you and she said bless you my, my, my she, said, she said bless you man of God as soon as she take up the plate to take it my girl my to the kitchen when she look the very barrel that she poured the little corn meal from became my God Almighty Phil. You all need to understand the pillow and the fire that God have in the midst with your journey that you're going. You might not, my God Almighty, have enough substance to pray your prayer. You might not have enough substance to praise Him. You might not have enough substance to worship Him. But I rise up to tell you, people of God, just know that my God Almighty, in the midst of everything, He is the more than enough in your midst, and He will, my God Almighty, my God Almighty, receive whatever you can give to Him, as long as your heart is in it. Lift him up, lift him up. Marcosa de Candelo Sende. Rabba Candelo Fende de Candelo Sende. Mama Sotoria Basende. My God Almighty. My God Almighty. He said, My God Almighty, the 21 verse. And the Lord went before them by, at, by, by day in a pillow of cloud. Can you imagine? Know that you are not alone. You are not alone. It might feel sometimes, my God Almighty, you're trying to listen to hear, my God Almighty, somebody. But all you can hear is the wind blowing in the wilderness. All you can, my God Almighty, hear is, my God Almighty, your very self might be crying. Your very self might be shouting. Your very self might, my God Almighty, sighing. Whatever you're doing in the midst of your wilderness. But I rise up to tell you, my God Almighty, that help is on the way. He promised never to leave you nor forsake you. He promised that, my God Almighty, yeah, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he will be there with you. His rod and his staff will comfort you. He will prepare a table, my God, in the midst. On the table will have, my God Almighty, a cloud and fire, my God Almighty. He will, my God Almighty, send angels. Angel, my God Almighty, that will protect you. Angel that will lead you. Angel that will guide you. He will never leave you alone. Never alone. I said never alone, people. Never alone. God promised. He promised never to leave you. Never to leave you alone. The enemy will come in the midst of your journey that you're going. You might start to feel your feet getting, my God Almighty, unbearable, getting tired, paining, name it. But I rise up to tell you, he promised that he's the God that will strengthen you. You're going through, my God Almighty, is not in vain. I said you're going through is not in vain, people. You're going through is not in vain. 
Rabba Satoria Mama Sende. Mama Konde, sometimes it can get so unbearable that the enemy will tell you, you don't see that nothing coming out of this. You don't see that it's not going to end. You don't see what you're going through, my God Almighty. You, you are defeated. Why don't you just jump over a cliff? Why don't you just run out in the road? Why don't you just take some poison? Why don't you, my God Almighty, just take a knife and kill yourself? Why don't you just do something and end your life? But a rise up to tell you, if you know that you have the Lord Jesus Christ, he will never, 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 because he's able, he's the God that is able to see you too, he's the God that is able, he's the God that will never leave you, he's the God that is your light, and he's your salvation, whom shall you fear, don't fear that voice that speak to you, that is not of God, because on your journey, you will hear many voices, but but the word of God said in Matthew that we are to know the voice of the shepherd and the voice of the stranger we are to know how to rebuke it. You have to know how to rebuke it. Rebuke it and let it flee. You have to know how to rebuke it. You have to know. Blood of Jesus Christ, my God Almighty, against every plan of Satan. The blood of Jesus Christ against every wicked plan. My God Almighty, when you are going through and the enemy, my God Almighty, want to come upon you, you need to understand. You have to know that you have a God. You have a Savior. That my God Almighty will lead you all the way he lead you. My God Almighty, and he will never leave you. He will never forsake you because he put in the midst a pillow of cloud and fire. A pillar, a pillar, a pillar, thank you my daughter, a pillar, a pillar of cloud and fire. Rabba Satoria Mama Sende, Mako Sede Kandel Washende, to lead them, it said here, it, it said to lead them, my God Almighty, the way, to lead them the way. People of God, your journey that you are going through, God, if, if you allow God, he will lead you. Don't let anything lead you. Don't let anything else lead you. But make sure it is God that is leading you. Many obstacles will come in the way. Many things will come and lead you. While you're going through, so many things will come and lead you. But I rise up to tell you, you have to keep your focus on the one true and living God. You have to keep your mind. Rest on Jesus Christ. The songwriter said, keep your heart on Jesus while the tidal wave of trouble overflows. You have to keep your heart on Jesus Christ. You have to keep your mind. You have to, my God Almighty, purpose in yourself that you will not look to the right nor to the left, but you will look straight ahead to the Lord Jesus Christ. Give him glory. You have to purpose, purpose in your heart, your mind, and your soul, to look not to the right nor to the left, but look straight ahead to the Lord Jesus Christ, and know that my God Almighty, He is God in the midst. Know that my God Almighty, He promised. He promised. That's the only promise that cannot fail. That's the only promise that cannot fail, people. His word, my God Almighty, is yea and amen. Yea and amen. His word. 
He will not say something and change his mind like you and I. He will not do it. Many of us will change our mind, but he will not. As long as you're holding on. The songwriter said, make sure that you anchor all and grip the solid rock. You have to make sure when you're going through the wilderness, you have to make sure that the anchor hold and grip the solid rock because I rise up to tell you there will be many scorpion and serpent that come to harm you. Many scorpion and serpent will come to harm you. I want you to understand what I'm talking about. But when they come, you need to understand. In the midst, my God Almighty, of my God Almighty Moses, when he was in Egypt, what happened? My God Almighty, the word of God said that Moses, my God Almighty, hallelujah, after he killed my God Almighty, the Egyptian, that was my God Almighty about to destroy my God Almighty, the man, my God Almighty wife. What happened, my God Almighty? He stepped in and he knocked that man cold. Then, my God Almighty, they found out that it's him that do it. He have to flee. He have to run. He have to run away. But before he run away, he was given, my God Almighty. They said they give him a piece of stick. And when they give him the piece of stick, it was for him to fight against scorpion and serpent. But what you need to understand, he in the midst, God Almighty was standing with the cloud and the fire to protect him. If God do it for him, he will do it for you. I said if God do it for him, he will do it for you. It's the same God. He's the same God. The same God. The same God. He's the same God. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is the Alpha which is the beginning. And is the Omega which is the end. He is forever, people. Promise never to leave nor forsake. He promised never to leave nor forsake. That's the God he is. Rabba Satoria Mama Shende. I said he promised, people of God, he promised, he promised never to leave, my God Almighty, he promised never to leave you, that's why he said a pillar by day, a pillar of cloud by day and fire by night, I want to hear what I'm saying, my God Almighty, a pillar, he promised people of God. He promised Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. never to leave, nor forsake. His promise cannot fail. It cannot, my God Almighty, disappoint. My God Almighty, sometimes my God Almighty, you go in through your wilderness, and my God Almighty, you know, you have some people they might be driving, and even the very driving becomes unbearable. They are driving, my God Almighty, and they said, Look, I have to stop. I have to stop because this journey is too much. The only stop you must stop, my God Almighty, is when you're sleeping. I want to hear what I'm saying. The only stop you must stop is when you want to sleep because the body created like that for you to sleep. But in the midst of everything, my God Almighty, you must pursue, be persuaded, be persuaded. All of you what I'm saying? I am persuaded. Thank you, thank you, my tongue. I am persuaded that God will see me too. You have to speak these things over your life. When God sees that you are depending on Him, He will never leave you nor forsake you. I want to hear what I'm saying. When He see that you are depending on Him, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he will never. But Lord, God, thank you, Jesus. When he see that you are persuaded. Yes, 
when he see that my God Almighty, he said here, my God Almighty, in the 21 verse, and the Lord went before them by day in a pill. Listen to me. It wasn't my God Almighty, the pillow sitting there, no, it was God in it. I want to hear what I'm saying. I said it was God that was in it. How much you can see and believe that God is in the midst of your situation in spite of what is going on. He's in the midst. Promise never to leave nor forsake. He promised never to leave you, nor forsake you. He was my God Almighty, be before them there in the in, in the pillar, in the pillar of a cloud, and lead. Look here and lead them. Oh God Almighty, you all don't understand. The only way God will not lead you unless you are being rebellious. Come on, talk to me. Yes. It is not for us to lead ourselves. We are to allow him whatever we said, we are to, whatever he tell us. That's what we must do. Come on, people. Because his instruction cannot go wrong. And you hear what I'm saying? It cannot go wrong. The reason why my God Almighty, He have the fire, my God Almighty, in the midst. You need to understand. While you are going through, call upon Him. Purpose in your mind, your heart, your soul. Right there, your spirit will connect and catch a fire. When your spirit can catch can and catch a fire, man, I'm telling you. Great is the Lord and great is to be praised, people of God. Great, great, great. Mighty, powerful God he is. He tell us, my God Almighty, in his word, in Hebrews, my God Almighty, 29, um, Hebrews 12, 29, he said, I, I am the God that answer by what? Fire! He's the God that answer by fire, people. Always there answering. The reason why we don't hear him is when we are my God Almighty busy doing whatever we are doing. He's always there, my God Almighty. Answering by fire. With his mouth open wide, he's blowing that fire, people. He's blowing that fire. He's there, my God Almighty, doing great and mighty things. 